Would being rich make life easier? Well, devout lotto ticket buyers and shooting star wishers the world over, they'll say yes. But if they think stacking up the Benjamins is an answer to a simpler, happier existence, they probably haven't heard of the Pope family. As ABC's Matt Gutman found, these millionaire heirs to the National Enquirer tabloid empire, they give a whole new meaning to the adage, more money, more problems. It's a high-profile, headline-grabbing family feud. I would receive 20 to 30 emails from my mother a day, daily phone calls asking about kidnapping and losses. That could easily be ripped from the pages of the original tabloid newspaper, the National Enquirer, infamous for breaking news about the private lives of politicians and stars and the occasional alien. When we look at the tabloidization of the media and the salaciousness of so many of the stories, celebrity misbehavior, they're really the ones that pioneered this. The headlines made the founding Pope family millionaires, but this latest sensational story involves the family itself. It involves allegations of fraud, stalking, even threats of kidnapping. The duel pits this man, 45-year-old Paul Pope, the alleged playboy of Palm Beach against his socialite mother, 79-year-old Lois Pope, who he claims has threatened to kidnap his kids. Pope spoke exclusively to ABC News, showing us around his not-too-shabby South Florida pad. Are there any rules in the War of the Popes? You know, apparently with my mother there's none. Paul says it started when the elegant grandma Pope demanded to take out a kidnapping and ransom policy for Paul's children. She said, well, I'm going to get a, a K&R policy, a kidnap and ransom policy. And she said the beneficiary is the, the kidnapper, the, abduct, you know, the person that does the, abduct, the abduction. Let me get this straight. Somebody kidnaps your son. That is the person who gets the money for the policy. According to my mother, yes. He says he took it as a threat. Lois Pope calls the allegations outrageous and says it was Paul's idea to take out the insurance. 24 years, she's never done this. All of a sudden. For anyone in the family. For anyone in the family. Perhaps because this is one of the nastiest family feuds around, says Hollywood PR maven Howard Bragman. Well, karma truly does exist. Now the family that founded it and sold the company is having to deal with they, what they've been giving out for so many years. Lois has accused him of an extravagant and excessive lifestyle. He accuses her of hoarding money. My new team of investigators and attorneys had found all these things that were wrong, theft, fraud, and tax evasion and all these things. But he says she does spend lavishly on herself, including a pair of $22 million private jets, one for her and another for her 18 dogs. Yes, 18 of them. And she seems to dole out $100,000 Mercedeses to her staff like candy. She can point to my excessive lifestyle. And, and no one's perfect, you know. Uh, the difference is I'm honest about mine. Over the years, the Inquirer has broken its share of stories about the squabbles of the rich and famous and much more. From O.J. Shue to John Edwards' affair and child with Riel Hunter to the Tiger Woods sex scandal. But the story of the tabloid's former owners, it's as juicy as it gets. This unholy war between the popes has festered since Paul Pope's father, Generoso, died in 1988. Generoso had built an empire stacking supermarket checkout racks with the National Enquirer and its steady diet of scandal and expose. Then, in 1989, the family sold the Enquirer for $412 million. Lois got $200 million and Paul and the rest of the kids $20 million. Even way back then, according to an April 8th court hearing, Lois says her son threatened her. She said, he accused me of not giving Generoso a proper burial, of murdering him, of not calling 911 when he died. It was then that the harassment started, she claims, and that was 25 years ago. And she always thought that he was an enemy in her midst. She said in court, I believed he was not my friend. What he was, she says, is a playboy, maintaining an excessive and extravagant lifestyle, but has never had meaningful employment. Still, he has authored two books. One of them, the unpublished Confessions of a Rich Kid from Hell. A kid his mom says she continues to bankroll today, giving him an alleged $12 million in recent years, not to mention a yacht. And there he goes asking for nearly $5 million more since the start of this year. He denies asking for anything recently, but said she did give him a check recently. And I, How much was it? Uh, $4 million. 
I'd hush. <laughs> That's not a nice uh, amount of money. You know, but my life isn't about money. I'm not about, I can't be bought. Uh, it's just not my thing. And you know. Did that, you give it back? No, I didn't give it back. Well, the man does have expenses, according to a court document, which shows he burns through about $2 million a year. Well, that's right it. Now. You're never going to Oh, no, no, again. we're done forever. It's the parting of the Red Sea. It's a true emancipation. Someone might want to tip off the National Enquirer about this story. I'm Matt Gutman for Nightline in Highland Beach, Florida.